Let's take you outside right now. There's Mount Hood as viewed from our camera in the Dallas. Oh, that's Honey. so beautiful. That great shot on the Oregon Veterans Home. Just a bit of a cloud hanging over the summit there. It is 89 degrees in the Dallas. We're talking about near record high temperatures in this part of Oregon uh, over the next, well, today and tomorrow. It's just going to be super warm. It's dry. Now, what about smoke? The big smoke plume is from the Bolt Creek Fire up in the Washington Cascades. That keeps producing smoke. Sorry, British Columbia. A lot of us headed your way. In Oregon, the Cedar Creek Fire is the one that's still producing some smoke, not nearly as much as that. And you can see it's just various levels of mid and high level haze, kind of like today. Nothing all that bad. And on the satellite imagery, you don't even see the smoke really. Maybe a touch right there from the fire, but you see the low clouds that hit in the valley just a little bit, and then the low clouds super solid along the Oregon coast. So we hit 82 today. That's about 10 degrees above average for this day. 50s and 60s on the coast with the low clouds there. 70s and 80s inland capped by the 89 in the Dalles and 91 in Medford. So yes, yeah, still very summer like offshore. There's a weak storm system out here, but it's not going to do anything for us. It's going to fall apart as it approaches. Well, we'll do one thing. It'll increase the onshore flow a little bit, making it a little tougher to burn off the morning fog or low clouds in the valley. I still think we do it. The coast is going to stay socked in really for the next couple of days, and you can see it on future cast. Here we are tomorrow morning, fog and low clouds. And then it breaks up a little more slowly tomorrow compared to today. Doesn't leave the coast though. May may get some disturbing uh, disturbance of the low clouds there as we go into Wednesday morning. As we get a little offshore flow, but we'll still have low clouds here in the valley on Wednesday. Then it burns off, and after that, we're looking at mainly sunny weather through the weekend again. So tomorrow, 56 in the morning, noontime 69, and we'll begin to see the sun, and five o'clock 77. So again, a, a touch cooler than today, but still very pleasant. So. Hunting for rain. We look at the long range models and they look like this. They look dry. We've just got weak southerly flow over us. Big area of hot, dry air along the west coast. The cool weather back in the Great Lakes in the upper Midwest here. And then there's cool weather south of Alaska, right? But we're stuck in between and this pattern just doesn't really change. We need to see this area of high pressure and warm air break down. Usually that'll come from the north or maybe from the west or even the southwest, but we just don't see it happening. They get a nice surge of cool fall weather back in the Midwest next week. We don't. Rain remains unlikely through the weekend. And I mean, look, this is a week from Thursday, the middle of October, and we may have yet to have seen our first Portland rain by the middle of October and the rain averages go way up this month. They basically are double what they are in September to October. We usually get about three inches of rain. And of course, the second half of the month that is backloaded. The second half of the month is typically a lot wetter than the first half of the month. So there's still time to get plenty of October rain, but not in the near term. It's 82 degrees outside right now and the freezing level up around 15,000 feet. On the coast, that's the only place that will be cloudy and socked in and maybe some drizzle, but hardly qualifies as, you know, significant rain. Morning clouds and fog and then partly sunny in the valleys and in the mid 70s up in the Cascades. Haze down south. Otherwise, I mean, 74 government camp here in October. Central and Eastern Oregon, mid 80s, lows in the 40s and the gorge. Very warm and mainly sunny there. West winds, but they'll be light. And in Portland, morning clouds and then sun in the afternoon. Touch cooler than today, about about five degrees. Seventies again on Wednesday, but then it's all eighties Thursday through the weekend. The warmest days will actually come over the weekend.